Okay, I'm going to do a real quick video on a couple things, not really on using picks inside, just a couple of the menu stuff. Uh, they've tripped me up a few times, I forget about it, and I have to go search for it. So, uh, just a couple of real quick things, one on the, uh, the process console that pops up whenever you're doing uh, any type of processing goes on. Sometimes this thing will pop up and it stays there and it every time you have to hit the X button. Um, and what I've found like here, I'm just going to do a quick stretch. That'll pop up and it should go away once it's finished. Sometimes it does not. Uh, usually what that is is this little box right here. Uh, blue, blue square. And it's got stick hide. Um, you can move wherever you want this round, but it seems like sometimes it's just you click that little orange box, and I guess the stick means it stays there, and otherwise it goes away, or you can move it back and forth. Uh, but it seems like when that thing doesn't automatically go away, uh, it is because that little orange box or box isn't checked, so. If I drag that over, it should do its thing and go away. That's what I really like. Um, bothers me when it's there all the time. Uh, another thing, I'll make all, I've got all my little shortcuts, icons, and everything's good, but if I have to, I'll forget sometimes just how to make these things. So, for instance, on my Star Exterminator, I want that box checked. I do it every time I generate both the star and the starless images, but I forget to check that and I get it started and I have to go back. So an easy way to edit one of these is like I would go right click on Star Exterminator, set the identifier. I'm going to go ahead and just copy what I've already got it called. And I'm just going to delete that one. I'm going to go ahead click that, drag the little triangle onto the screen, which will make a, an icon shortcut. Right click it, set identifier, and now I'm just going to paste Star Exterminator back into it. So now I'll put it back where it belongs. When I click on it, that's automatically checked for me. Something so simple, I forget how to do it. Um, we all know how picks inside is on not being, I don't know, for me, my brain doesn't really work the way picks inside wants things, but it worked wonderfully, so, uh, just some little quirks about just something simple like that. Uh, once you get all of your icons where you want it, make sure you save them, so now that I've changed that. I will go to select icons, all icons, right click again, hit process icons, and s save process icons. And I just save them as in a, they've got their own icons, just P PI actions to drop in, and I saved it twice in case I screw them up. And uh, nice things I can just double click on that icons to drop in it starts picking that up my icons are there so uh, another thing on this console I just thought about if you go to edit global preferences uh, this miscellaneous process settings this number right here is how long the uh, window stays open before it shuts um, I guess you make a change yeah, and hit the circle button and it should save that. See, there's lots of stuff in here that you can uh, change and modify. Uh, a lot of it I have no idea what it is or it would take me a minute to figure it out. Like there's even your mask overlay, you know, it's bright red. You can change what color that goes to uh, if it shows it by default. Lots of little things that uh, you can to do to make it uh, more the way you like it. So, anyway, there's a real quick video on just a couple things that um, trip me up. I just like 
like I said, just forgetting sometimes how to make the icon. I just I'll deal with the fixing site for a while, and then it'll be a while before I do any imaging, and I come back, and there's just little things like that that I've forgotten. So hopefully that'll help me remind it, uh, remind myself, and uh, help anybody else that has the same uh, problems every now and then. So everybody have a good one.